What's up guys? I'm excited to show you a really unique and awesome boat that I toured this weekend. She's an Eddie and Duff built Phil Bulger designed Bird of Dawning Leeboard Yawl. Now that's a mouthful, but you're going to see how awesome she is in a minute. Real quick before we get to the tour though, as always, I just want to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and you enjoy these videos. It really helps us a lot and it costs you nothing, so why not? Thanks in advance and without further ado, let's get to the tour. So a couple things I want to talk about with the hull design here. Quite obviously it is a motor sailor. It has a relatively flat bottom there with a short keel that goes all the way down the boat. And then to be able to go upwind and to be able to point, we've got lee boards, one on each side. These are massive lee boards. So that's gonna give the boat enough lift in the water to be able to go upwind. And then you've got ballast down below in this short keel. There's also a little kind of centerboard, daggerboard in the rudder as well. I think that's kind of interesting. And then you've got a protected propeller right there, protected by the keel. So very interesting design. Also, another thing that you can see pretty well from down here, this has an unstayed tabernacled mast. So that is a composite mast that is tabernacled right there and can quite easily just be raised or lowered while you are, you know, on the water. Let's go up the ladder. So I just climbed up the ladder and you've got the cockpit right here but we're gonna come back to the cockpit. We're gonna go forward first. Looking forward. We've got Treadmaster non-skid right here. So we've got this traveler down here that's installed for the main sheet, but there is also another traveler that is not installed yet. That was gonna go in the cockpit to serve as a second traveler so that you can have options really on how you want to control the boom. There's also a boom vang there. Big old hatch over the salon table and then we have our attachment points for the lee boards on each side here. Going forward, this is the beast. This is the tabernacle for this rig. So this is a composite, unstayed mast. And this whole thing hinges right here and can easily be tilted forward or back and stepped while you are on the water. So the mast sits in this pocket right there goes down in there. This cover right here opens all the way up. It slides all the way forward to allow the mast to come down. Let's go ahead and take a look inside this compartment. So I'm actually standing where the mast would go and this is the big bow locker. Got lots of storage up here. You guys can see down here there's a tiller, so if you don't want to use the wheel, you can actually use the tiller that attaches directly to the rudder on the back of the boat. And then this is a wishbone for the jib to be a self-tailing jib. So the mast is going to be normally right here when you're sailing, and then you've got this ladder to get in and out. For the base of the mast, for the mast up, there actually is a stainless steel piece that installs right here on these bolts, and that's what the mast sits on. It's not installed right now, but that's what goes there. All right, walking forward. 
These are massive, massive cleats. Hugely oversized, and then we have a huge valve spurt on the front. Let me go ahead and walk. All the way up to the dual anchor roller. All the metal work on this boat has been done by the current owner. It all looks really, really good. And looking aft. Going aft. You can see the construction of the unstayed mast right there. Really, really thick. There's that chain. Windless. And then there is a spot right there on this tabernacle where the boom sits normally when you're when you're on the water. The boom is off the boat right now, it's in a storage shed. Going aft. Looks like we got a heater exhaust right there. Nice big dodger. And we've got our cockpit. So we've got worm gear steering right here, and then there's also the option of direct steering with a tiller to the rudder, which is, I think is really cool. I think that would be really awesome. And then you can sit in one of these seats and steer the boat with the tiller, which that'd be really cool to do. There's a nice big bimini top that goes over the whole cockpit that's down right now, but it shades the entire cockpit when it's up. And then I really like this aluminum work on the back with these seats. I think that that's really neat, especially if you're gonna steer from back here. And you've got this big old aft deck, transom hung rudder. This would be a great place to spend some time when the mast is up, obviously. And then we've got a wind generator right there on an aluminum mast. And again, just oversized cleats for your dock lines. And then a nice big hatch right there. That's going to go down into the aft cabin. Alright guys, I think it's time to go down below. Coming down below. I'm going to do a 360. We've got our galley to port here. There's our companionway and ladder right there. And then there's a head right here to starboard. Let's start by looking at the galley. So we've got gimbaled range right here. The way the interior is designed, you know, it's a good boat to have when you're at sea because you can brace really anywhere. There aren't very many areas, if at all, where you can't grab onto something or use something to keep yourself standing. So that's that's a really good design. Um, this galley, nice little, it's got a little nook right here, almost a little island. I like how they, they pulled this out and again that, that rather than having a giant open saloon here, we've got this island here that's going to help you when you're at sea. Cold storage, ample amounts of cold storage. Top loading. Very nice, very practical. And then we've got port lights all around that you can see out of while you're in here. Let's take a look at the head. So we've got 
good size head right here with a separate shower. Going forward. Got a forward facing nav station just forward of that head. And then to the farthest area forward in the saloon, we've got our main settee, our main seating area, pilot berths on each side. And this is a very comfortable looking seating area. And of course you've got leafs right here, help you get in and out. I just wanna say this is a very comfortable main seating area. I like it a lot. Like, it's very cozy. It's gonna be comfortable whether you're at anchor or whether you're at sea. I really like that a lot. And then I imagine this whole thing can convert to a berth if you so desire as well. All right, and then there is the companionway and stairs right there. The water tank is actually back here. And then you get to the aft cabin through this pass through right here. So we're gonna go aft. This pass through looks like it's set up as kind of a workshop area. We've got tools, got our DC distribution panel, battery management panel, and then our engine's gonna be right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. All right, so I pulled that panel off and then we've got our brand new Yamar yeah, diesel right here. Nice new AGM battery bank as well. So there's another panel on the starboard side that pops off as well. So the engine access is very, very good on this boat. And continuing aft, we're gonna go into the aft cabin. So we've got some shelving right there to port. And then the aft cabin has two berths, one on each side. Right now there's an air conditioner right there, but when this boat is sailing and you're at anchor, all of these windows open up. So you've got tons of ventilation with the hatch up there, the windows back there, the opening ports back there in the stern, tons of ventilation, lots of storage below the berths. Looking forward. More shelving right there to starboard. And then we've got kind of a technical room on this side. It's gonna be engine access again down there. Nice big technical equipment room. So this right here is actually the motor for the autopilot and it goes here to here to there, and then to the transom hung rudder in the back. Looking at the bilge, looks like we got a big old manual bilge pump down there. Handle will go right there, hope you never have to use it. All right guys, I'm back up here sitting at the main settee and we're gonna start the full continuous below decks walkthrough now. All right guys, so there is the main seating area again. We've got storage behind both seats. Turn and aft. Got our forward facing nav station to starboard. Galley to port. There's our companionway, companionway stairs. Got our single head with a separate shower. Going to port. And 
is our pass through. Walking through the pass through into the aft cabin. Turn it forward. I'm going to finish out right here in this little technical room. Oh, and the diesel tanks are on the sides. They're saddle tanks. That's it, guys. All right, guys, I really enjoyed that boat, and she just has so many unique features from the tabernacled unstayed mast to the lee boards to the retractable rudder to the really shallow draft. Yeah, I mean, she's a really unique boat. I think the coolest thing about this boat is going to be versatility, and that means being able to go under low bridges into shallow waterways. This is a really, really good live aboard coastal cruiser. You could probably also take her offshore as well, but to be honest, I do not know how she will handle. She does have 4,000 pounds of ballast in that shallow keel. I think my favorite part about the boat is that unstaged tabernacled mast that can be raised and lowered quite easily while you're aboard the boat. That's really a game changer for coastal cruising. I really wish I would have gotten a chance to see her sail though because I am very curious about the design and to see how she would sail. I imagine she's going to sail similar to the bigger Dutch sailing barges. I actually did do a tour of one of those, the Rau Christina, a while back. So if you're interested in seeing that one, I'll put a link to that video in the description below. But that's the only boat that I've toured that's even somewhat like this one. But anyway, as with all these videos, I'm going to put the contact information in the description below as well as the asking price just in case you are interested in potentially purchasing this vessel or just want some more information. I think it's a decent price. The owners are willing to trade for an RV potentially, so I think they might be willing to negotiate. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tour of this unique vessel. I know I certainly did. And with that, as always, guys, if you enjoyed this one, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you want to know each and every time we drop a video. See you guys. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by